Hello and welcome to her little black book. Today we're with designer Deepak Parwani. FPW is just around the corner. So we are interviewing for his exclusive collection. Okay, congratulations on being elected the CEO of FPW. How are you feeling with the new responsibility? Well, first of all, I'm feeling great with the new responsibility. Not that I had it before. Uh, but I'm not the CEO, I'm the chairperson. Oh, sorry. Manager, so it's <laughs> so, all right. So how are you feeling with the new responsibility? Um, the same? A little, uh, I think a little more pressured because uh, now you're kind of expected to do a lot more than what you were previously doing and uh, we've been doing this for the last 10 years. Uh, very, very excited and very proud of the fact that we managed to bring fashion to this level in Pakistan and uh, to be a part of that process. Um, fashion Week is around the corner and uh, we're looking forward to the future, the future of Pakistani fashion and, and seeing how it goes um, under the new board and we've got a great board this time. Yeah. Um, Everybody is, uh, it's, it's what I call a working board um, and we are very, very excited with the council to take it forward. Okay, uh, how is, uh, like, is there going to be pressure on you because you're showcasing as well as you are uh, the CEO, the chairperson as well? Um, pressure has always been there because um, even in the past, previous in the previous shows, I've been the creative director for Pakistan Fashion Week, so um, we've uh, always managed to somehow do it. But yeah, you feel like a headless chicken <laughs> in the last two weeks of, of Fashion Week because you're trying to finish and put up a fabulous show, put up the lunches and dinners and PRs and and uh, uh, what do you call it, parties and blah blah blah, and actually putting it as the flow smooth as far as the show is concerned. And then comes your own collection. So yes, the pressure has always been there, but I think the last ten years we've gotten pretty much used to it. Okay. Uh, what is your new collection? The new collection is called Ishq, um, okay. and it's uh, uh, it's primarily bridal wear. Okay. And uh, men's uh, wear for weddings because this is the season, and the season is around the corner. And we always do that one collection at the end of the year, which is more bridal based as opposed to luxury based. Okay. What is your collect uh, fabric selection? Lots of silks, chiffons, uh, chamois, uh, crepe de chine, uh, pure nets. Did you have any difficulty selecting the materials? No, we have a we have a stock room that always has fabulous material. Mm -hmm. We're kind of mad that way, and whatever we like, we keep on picking it up and stocking it over the years. If I tell you it's my birthday, what collection would you give me? I'd probably give you something fabulous to wear. <laughs> That's all I can say. Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, which trends would you like to see? from the past to come back and which you wish it never happened? Well, uh, I think when it comes to bridal wear, we have new trends in place. Uh, lots of uh, peplums have come in, lots of dolma sleeves have come in. Um, the, the khagra has made a comeback, which is very interesting to see. The, yeah. the do pancha pajama, the do pancha, uh, uh, what do you call it, khagra trouser. Yeah. So there's a lot of new trends that have come in. The culotte is also back in and, uh, as far as people who are going to weddings. So. Um, it's interesting, it's interesting, the can-can has come in, lots of volume has come in, um, sheer fabrics like organza has come in, so a lot of new treatments that are going into bridal wear which were not, and uh, the fact that women are getting away from the conventional red bridal and moving on to other colors. Okay, and how? what do you think people will be dressing like in 50 years? In 50 years, hopefully they will have money to dress up and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure the changes would have made by then. Um, if we were alive, then uh, we probably would be dressing them in something very, very modern and very progressive. Okay. Uh, if you have to have dress any designer who is showcasing in FPW, who would you dress? Um, any designer who is showcasing in FPW? Yeah. Mine Kani. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Why are you so tall? I don't know. You have to ask my parents that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much Deepak for this interview. Thank you. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.